I don't know what it is, but in the last past few days, I have been waking up to this just incredible and gorgeous appreciation feel and, and gratefulness for just life in general. I live in a place that most people only wish with and it's just gorgeous and amazing. Is anyone gonna talk about my hair and my glasses a combination? Our <laughs> Before anybody starts saying that I look like the failed and beaten up version of Michael Jackson, I'm gonna explain you what I wanna do today. We got these things ready yesterday. I put a concrete in here and it's strong and solid. What I need to do is to start putting those square boxes in here and pour the concrete. But before I do that, I need to place those metal plates in the top that are where I'm gonna hold those vertical beams that I have to put in here to hold this entire frame in this. I got some business to check around here. Something like this is what I have to do on the other side, but I gotta do a better job. Because when I built these ones, I didn't realize, but some of them were slightly slanted to one side. So they got a little bit crooked, but it doesn't matter that much because I already checked them and they are right in the center where they need to be. And they are very, very strong. So it's, it's gonna get the job done, but I need to do it better in the next try. <laughs> And if anyone is wondering if these are sunglasses that I use got because I want to look cool, no, they are not. These are prescription prescription glasses that I gotta wear all the time. And I got these ones that got this technology that I think they call transition technology that when the sun, when the UV light hits it, they turn like into this dark color that is supposed to protect my eyes from the UV light. But they kind of look cool, so... I'm reusing the little boxes that I made for the other side. It's because um, I don't have more plywood to build them and going to town to get more plywood is gonna take me not only time, but also it's gonna be expensive. <laughs> Last time I used the cement mixer to make the concrete for the footers and cleaning that thing takes me like one hour, full hour that I could put on something else and this time what I need to make is use a little bit of concrete for those three little columns so I'm mixing everything in the wheelbarrow.
it is done. I'm about to die. My, I don't feel my arms that much, but it is done. One, two, three. And you may be thinking, what is next? Well, now that I got all the footers ready, the next thing that I have to do is start working on the beams and the vertical beams that I'm gonna place right there. Go up, up, up. I have the beams, I just gotta clean them, cut them, put them into place, level them and weld them. I haven't checked the little plants in a few hours. The little beans that I planted in here. And I just opened this door like two minutes ago to come and check it. And look at these things are huge. They're crushing it. They are 100% crushing it. Today it is welding day. We're gonna start welding those beams. What? Is this a joke? Are you kidding me? How this happened today? It could have been raining any other day and why today? I have to weld this. The beams are gonna go from here to here. The vertical beams. It is raining. Specifically today. Gotta show. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Ah! Nothing's gonna stop me today from doing things. Even if it is raining, I could decide just to go back to my tree house. Oh, this is this. I could go back to my tree house, watch a movie while it's raining, that is one of my favorite things to do. Is anyone else have that wear obsession, just like to stay inside of your house, drink a hot cup of coffee, a drink a hot cup of chocolate while watching a movie or reading something and just like hear the rain falling outside and just like see it. <sighs> that is one of the best things ever. But well. The rain is not, not going to stop me from doing some work in here. I want to continue working on my greenhouse. Um, I want to plant some stuff inside here. I got some, some seeds that Rihanna gave to me so I can start planting more things. And as this thing is covered, I'm not going to get wet and I can work inside of the greenhouse. And this is our other greenhouse. This is the greenhouse that Kaylee and Jordan built at the beginning when they came to the land. I think this was one of the first projects actually. I was part of this. I, I helped to put the, the roof on all that plastic. Uh, the first plastic because that one got like ripped apart a few months ago. But yeah, I was helping them put in that plastic up there and then I fell from one of those corners. <laughs> that was that was a funny day. I think that day they knew that I, I was crazy and I, I could be a good at to the far, <laughs> but anyway, this is Adriana's territory. She's got a lot of plants in here. She's got tomato. She's got uh, where's the garlic? I thought she had garlic. She's got uh, celery. She's got peppers. She's got this thing that looks like broccoli. She even got dragon fruit. This is her territory, and she has this thing used beautiful and just full of life. This is going to be El Semillero, or translated in English, the nursery or the cedar. Lots of translation for that. But here is where I'm gonna have uh, the seeds planted at the beginning, and then once those seeds start just popping out, I can wait a few days or weeks, depending on what plant it is, and again transplant it to the main bed that is that one. And there's gonna be another bed that is gonna be. Uh, in this corner and there are gonna be some other stuff that are gonna be hanging in this side so I can just put all those plants in there this is going to be the first batch of seeds that I'm gonna plant I got some sage, I got salvia, I got calendula, I got holy basil 
I got artichoke, chamomile and some beets. I'm not gonna plant that many of them, I may plant just two of each kind because I also want to plant a lot of local stuff like Panamanian uh, things inside of the greenhouse. I wanna plant yucca, I wanna plant uh, tomatoes, I wanna plant potatoes, lots of things that maybe I'm not gonna have the space for. This is... It is just abnormal how hot it can get inside here. I have it here for less than 10 minutes and I'm starting to sweat. It's, it's too hot inside there. But that is good for the plants, not for me. Here in the farm we have different ways to produce compost and fertilizer. We have the biogas machine that produces usable gas for cooking and also produces uh, liquid fertilizer. And we also have the goat's cup, is it called cup? Or the goat's pen. Here is where they sleep and there is a lot of poop and pee around here. So we put this grass so it just like absorbs most of it. And then once it is like full of poop and pee, not that full, but once we feel that is enough, we take it out, we put it in a wheelbarrow, so like that one. And then we use it for compost. Ah, ah, ah. Sunny day and I twist my ankle. Oh, what a way to start the day. Ow. Oh, that's gonna hurt for a little bit. Oh, it's wild berry season. This got some spikes. Look at this. It's gonna be my breakfast. This one is ready. Nice. We got one mission today. Just one mission, and that mission is to start working on those vertical beams that are gonna be holding this part of the structure of a house. Give me all the power! This is a little dirty. We got 47%, all right, just keep going.
I think I just got the first one. That first vertical beam is ready. Uh, I just, I'm just curious about the level. I checked it before, but I want to double check it after. Perfect. That is perfect. Please don't laugh about my welding position. Welding down there is a little bit hard. But well, <coughs> uno, dos, tres. I got the three first, the first three beams. The vertical ones are already welded into place. They are holding this structure. Ugh, this thing is. This thing is not bending down anymore. Yeah. That's what I wanted. It still is vibrating a tiny little bit, but it's like 95% less than what it was before. Before it was just like shaking. No, it's just a little tiny vibration. But this is this is the this is the progress for today. We have a little gathering. We're gonna watch a movie too with some of our friends. They are right there up in the bus with Kake. The only thing that is stopping me from going there right now is to clean my mess. I gotta pick up all my tools and you save them back in my little workshop. So I'm gonna have all the time of the world to go have some fun. Hey. Oh, it's okay. oh. <laughs> Is that her song? <laughs> bye bye. These are my Monday morning vibes after 500 grams of coffee. So you may be wondering what it is in the list for today, what we're gonna do? Haircut? No, I gotta cut the grass. And by cutting the grass, I mean to bring the goats down here to clear out all this spot that is in front of my house. Thanks, girl. I really have to organize my little workshop. This is an entire mess and disaster inside here. Everything is just, it's, it's just me. All this organized, an entire disaster, an entire mess. I think the day I have a partner, she's gonna be like very upset with me because I'm not really organized and I'm gonna be throwing my socks around the house. I'm gonna be throwing my pants, even my underwear. She's gonna find the underwear over the door. I'm, I'm not organized. I said I was working on it, but it's not going well. I can leave the song on. I'm gonna get <laughs> copyright claimed. <laughs> well, I got these little plates. To be honest, I am not an engineer, so I don't know exactly what is the function of these things. But someone explained this once to me, I don't remember who it was, and apparently these plates uh, kind of like spray 
the weight of the object. What's going to happen is that the weight of this is going to be sprayed, spread in the top of this plate. It's going to be evenly spread in the top of the plate and then this plate is going to transfer that weight to the metal beam that is in the bottom and that is going to help it be a little bit stronger. I don't know if I explain it well. I don't really understand that much about this. But maybe I'm, I'm completely wrong. Maybe I'm like, I'm dumb. Look at how many footers my house is gonna have. And I still missing at least six other footers in this side for the deck. I'm planning on building a little deck. But, well, maybe not that little. It's gonna be pretty big. But I'm planning on doing it in this side. But that, that's gonna be like once all the house is ready, when I have like time to do some other stuff. I am planning on start working on that project. But in the meanwhile, I gotta finish Two more footers, you just cut some metal beams, weld them into place, and just call it. That's gonna be what I'm gonna be working for the A-frame today. This is something that I almost never talk about here in the channel, and it is that I'm about to turn 22 years old. I have lots of friends that always ask me, even my parents, uh, they ask me all the time about like, hey, where's your girlfriend? When are you gonna have a girlfriend? You are about to have a house and uh, where is your partner? And also a lot of people here in the channel have been asking me the same question and it's a lot of pressure to be honest that's that's a lot of pressure on me <laughs> and also one of the strongest reasons for that is that this is my main focus right now, this house. I have been working on this for so long. This is one of my biggest dreams in life. And it requires a lot of time. And then the little time that I have left is the time that I spend with my parents, with my siblings, and with my friends. I'm not gonna be selfish and start meeting someone and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I can go out today because I have to do this. Oh, I can go out this day because I have to do that. I'm not gonna, that kind of person. I like to dedicate a lot of time to people. Oh. After I'm done with this construction, I think my welds are gonna be almost perfect. Look at that. The other side. The other side. I have been working a lot on welding today and I'm not done yet, but my goats need to go to their house because it's almost dark. Can you see the sunset? Wait. Uh. Come on, good girls. Come on. <laughs> Mocha! Hey, Mocha! What's up, boy? It's around 8 p.m. maybe 8 30 and I'm proudly to say I'm very proud to announce that all the footers all those extra footings extra footers that I was building for this house are 
ready. Uh, that's great. Now don't think that I'm very hard worker and I'm the hardest worker ever. I do this every once in a while, I stay working late when I, when I really want to finish something in one day and I put that in my head, I get it done. But my day isn't over yet. I have to go to town, do some groceries, I have to come back here, make dinner, so I will probably be going to bed around 10 to 11 p.m. But I don't care. I don't care. This is what I'm dreaming of. This is my house and the hard work comes attached to the dreams. Oh, I'm so thankful that Jordan let me use the car because if not, I will have to go down in the motorbike to the groceries and I don't have the energy to do that. Ah, oh, it has been a, a gorgeous. This, this week I got a lot of progress. I got all those footers ready. If you see that my head is shaking, it's because the road is very bumpy. Oh well, here's where we're gonna leave this one. I love you guys so much. This is my narrator, narrator voice. I don't even know what I'm saying because I am sleepy. So, love you guys. I will see you next time. What do I- Ah, doing a crash!